Hi there. This is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft Defender security baseline policies in Intune. How to deploy it to Windows devices and what are the characteristics of security baseline policies for Microsoft Defender and what you can learn from those set of policies which are recommended by Microsoft. In the previous videos we have discussed about integration between Intune and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and onboarding process of Windows devices into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and then we had a quick walkthrough of Microsoft Defender portal. In this video, we will see how to deploy specific recommended Microsoft Defender policies using Intune Security Baseline. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's look into the options to deploy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint policies. We can deploy it using Security Baseline from Intune or else we can use individual profile to deploy Security Baseline baseline policies for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. We will also see gochas and catches with security baselines if you are using security baseline template. Let's go to the next slide. This is just to give you a brief introduction about security policies, different options within Intune and whether you would be able to use Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security baseline from Intune or not because some of the organization follow CIS benchmark and if your organization is following CIS benchmark, then probably it is not a best idea to use security baseline for MS Defender for Endpoint. There are group policy options also available, but for the modern devices, I don't recommend to use group policies and some of the Azure AD joint scenarios, group policies are not available. We have discussed all these in detail in a previous video. If you click on I button over here in YouTube, you would be able to get more details on the security policies and different options etc. In this video we are going to concentrate on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security baseline. That is what we can see over here. What are the advantages of using security baseline templates? You can implement it very quickly. These are the best practices or recommendations from Microsoft side. This is not a CIS benchmark recommended policies, but Microsoft recommended policies. You can customize security baseline templates as per your organization's requirements, but it is not flexible as as settings catalog or some other templates available within endpoint security such as BitLocker. It is not flexible as some of the other profiles available under endpoint security. We are going to look into Microsoft Defender for endpoint baseline. What are the challenges with that? Whether you would be able to use it or not, etc. If you are interested to know about other security baseline policies, you can refer to our previous videos from the I button over here that will give you more details details about these. Now let's go to the next slide. In a very high level perspective, these are the things covered in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security baseline. ASR rules are covered, BitLocker, Device Guard, Device Installation, DMA Guard, Firewall, Microsoft Defender, Smart Screen. All these are covered in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security baseline. But the problem with this is, this is updated back in 2020. There's no update after that it's been three years and a lot of policies have been changed so i don't suggest to just deploy this blindly but i would suggest you to compare this with other profile options which i'm going to show in the demo and in the next slide and then decide which is the best way for you some of the other security baseline templates are updated recently for example microsoft edge browser office 365 apps etc quite possible that microsoft might update Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Security Baseline pretty soon. Do check the description of the video to get the latest information about these updates. Now let's go to the next slide. If you want to configure Microsoft Defender policies, then this is the best option from my perspective. This is the place where you will get latest updated policies such as this allow network protection down level, datagram process on Win server, disable DNS or 
over TCP passing, disable HTTP passing, etc. etc. These are released with the latest version of Intune 2305. These profile templates are updated very regularly. I would recommend to use these templates, but use the security baseline to compare both the templates to understand which are the things you are missing, whether you are missing the BitLocker profile, whether you are missing firewall profile, DMA guard profile, etc. etc. Then create the profiles for each individual categories over here. That means a profile for BitLocker and then a profile for device guard and a different profile for firewall etc etc so we can use security baseline for many things to understand the categories etc otherwise you know if you are following the CIS benchmark probably you will get a list of security policies that you want to implement so you can follow that list but again for CIS benchmark probably this is the best place to set up security policies for Microsoft Defender antivirus and Microsoft Defender for endpoint etc now let's go to the next slide let's look at Microsoft Defender reporting options most of the security baseline reporting features are moved to new reporting infrastructure in Intune so you would be able to see unified reporting details similar to settings catalog and other workflows in Intune so for this security templates you would be able to see something like this okay two devices it got succeeded maybe it is not two devices one is system and the other one is user and you can go to security admin portal as well security.microsoft.com and check out different types of reports available over there sensor health and os microsoft defender antivirus health etc etc we'll see more details in the demo a bit later well, let's go to the next slide in this slide you can see the gochas and security baseline related issues most of them are related to this particular point the baseline templates are not updated regularly but other profiles are updated very regularly it is almost falls in the same release cycle as the product release cycle for example if defender team releases some updates additional features of management then Intune will immediately add those features into other profiles but not to security baseline security baseline templates so this is something you need to remember you can use it for some other purpose like to understand the categories etc as we discussed in the previous slide it is not allowed to make changes on deprecated versions of baseline Intune security baselines are not CIS NIST compliant they are Microsoft recommended set of policies set of policies user versus device based policy deployment is not pretty easy in security baseline templates earlier there was an issue with Intune filter rule support with security baseline latest updated templates of security baseline support in tune filter for example Microsoft Defender security baseline released back in 2020 and that doesn't support Intune filters and some other features let's quickly go into the demo and check what we can see over there let's log into Intune admin center and go to endpoint security node over here under endpoint security node you would be able to see different options one of the option is security baseline you need to click on that to check out the security baseline Line. this is the one which we are going to look into Microsoft Defender for endpoint baseline and as you can see this is updated very long back in 2020 that is not acceptable for most of the security teams in the organization if you want to create new security baseline policy profile click on create profile from here enter the name of the profile and description then platform and baselines are already selected click on next button to continue over here you would be able to see different categories ASR rules are here bit locker is here device guard device installation DMA guard firewall Microsoft Defender smart screen these are the categories available so you can take a look at each category quickly if you want what are the policies covered in this category because these are these are recommended policies and configuration from Microsoft bit locker kind of policies what are the bit locker policies you can check whether this is matching with your organization 
communications policy and if some things are missing probably you can use the individual profiles instead of security baseline templates same for device guard etc etc so different options are here you can configure it you can you can set as not configured if you want you can configure it as disabled etc device installation also same thing there are different options not configured option is also very good sometimes dma guard options are also there firewall settings are available so you can take note of all these settings and compare the settings with other profiles and check which is the latest one and use that one that would be my recommendation and microsoft defender related policies are here and if you want you can use this kind of policies smart screen related policies are also available here and these are the recommended configuration values from microsoft so if you want to blindly use microsoft recommended policies you can use this click on next and then provide the appropriate scope tag etc and then go to assignment in the assignment you can select some test devices if you want to test it click on add groups if you want to use custom azure ad groups this is part of include group if you add azure ad group into this part then those devices will get these policies okay i'm going to select one particular group test group where i will have one particular device test device as you can see over here some of these templates as i mentioned there's no filter options so this is a old template released in 2020 that is why there's no filter option for this particular defender for endpoint baseline security template hope microsoft will soon release the latest version of this we'll try to keep the description of the video up to date so do check that out to get the latest information click on next now to continue and you can deploy the policies by clicking on create button from here now let's go to some other set of policies which you can configure if you go over here there are different set of policies profiles you can create instead of going with security baseline if you want to configure the antivirus policies you can create some antivirus policies from here create button and select the platform and then select defender antivirus and click on create to create particular policies which are recently released for example give it a name and description and click on next button and over here you would be able to see different possible options available so this is a really good template where you can configure the latest policies so some of these policies are released recently as i mentioned in the slide so that is why i would recommend to use this kind of template rather than the security baseline at this point of time once microsoft start updating the baseline templates regularly then probably we can go back and try to use that template so i'm not going to create any policy over here but you can see i have already created some of the policies over here this is a policy which we have created for blocking the malware for mac os this is windows policy and you can see policy configurations are here these are the policies which we have configured and the reports are available over here all the details are available here if you click on one of this hyperlink for that particular device you would be able to see different settings and setting status information if the policy is failed you will get an error code over here so that you would be able to troubleshoot and similarly you can create different encryption policies for mac os windows operating systems etc same applicable for firewall policies as well windows 10 mac os etc i'm not going to go through all these policies but i hope you already got an idea what we can do if, if you don't want to use security baseline because it is not regularly updated and if you want to follow the cis benchmark or something now let's go into reporting side of things quickly mainly reports are available in security.microsoft.com microsoft 365 defender portal if you come to report section over here you would be able to see all the reporting options i'm more interested in endpoint related reports you can see threat protection reports device health vulnerable devices monthly security summary web protection all those details from here monthly security summary
sorry let's check that out so your score is 68 percentage it says and then it provides all the other details over here so if you can go back to reports and check some other reports like device health antivirus health report as well so zero devices don't have antivirus active that is good all these kinds of reports are available in microsoft 365 defender portal now that you have seen all the details about microsoft defender security baseline policies and what are the advantages of using this baseline to manage windows devices using microsoft defender solution and don't forget to check out the previous videos where we talked about onboarding integration and walkthrough of microsoft defender hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around